What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing I am really excited about. Living inside of this UPS envelope is perhaps one of the hottest phones of 2013. This is the HTC One. This 1080p rockin' full aluminum body phone packs a lot of punch. Let's go ahead, dig in, and see how it performs. All right, so here we've got the HTC One. Let's go ahead and dig in. This is an unboxing that I am really looking forward to. Uh, I should say though, HTC claimed that this was not the final shipping unit. So what we're gonna see inside here, I'm guessing isn't gonna be the full retail packaging, but the phone should be good. Uh, we do not have a version that's going to work with AT&T's LTE. What we've got here is a European version, but we should get it. All right, so this box is clearly not going to be what you're going to get when you pick it up from your AT&T, your T-Mobile, your Sprint store, whatever other carrier you're going to get. Uh, this is a pre-release box. The phone, again, should be exactly what you're going to get when you get it from the store. So we'll slide off the sleeve. Uh, this is a European version, so it does not have support for uh, AT&T's LTE network here. We'll take that out of the box and push it off to the side for just a quick second. See what else we've got in here. We've got a sync cable. We've got some stickers. We've got a wall wart. Got a SIM removal tool, and we've got some pretty cool looking headphones actually. Um, but that's not the reason you're here. Uh, we've got little red earbuds on it. We want to take a look at the HTC One. Let's pull this guy out of the packaging. The first time I'm really holding this thing, and it feels tremendous uh, in the hand. It feels incredibly solid. HTC has always had awesome build quality. This one looks to be the culmination of. Uh, all those years of building phones. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it on, see if it's got enough juice to kick on it. We'll run through all the specs of this guy. Quietly brilliant. So what you see power on right there is a 4.7 inch HD display. So that's 1920 by 1080, giving it a crazy PPI of 469. Uh, it's running Android 4.1.2 at launch. Uh, but HTC has said that it will uh, try and support uh, other versions of Android moving forward, so hopefully 4.2 and whatever comes next. Uh, being powered by a 1.7 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon chip, that's the Snapdragon 600 for those of you keeping track at home, uh, two gigs of RAM. It's gonna come with either 32 or 64 gig configurations, not sure which one we've got here. Uh, on the back is that ultra pixel camera that uh, a lot of people have been talking about, really excited to check that out. It's got a front-facing HD camera that can shoot full HD video. Uh, why Wi-Fi here, not something I usually talk about, but it's 802.11abgn and AC, uh, which is the new standard. I, most people don't even have AC at home, but this phone uh, will sort of be forward-proofed. Uh, it's got a 2300 milliamp hour battery sealed in the back. Uh, it's got NFC from a dimension standpoint. It's 5.41 inches by 2.69 inches by 0.37, weighing 5.4 ounces or 103 grams. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through the setup process here and I'll come back in just a moment. We'll do a quick tour of the phone. All right, so we've got the HTC One all booted up here, and you are looking at Sense 5, and this is Blink Feed. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's do a quick tour of this gorgeous looking phone. On the left hand side, boom, we don't really have much other than the SIM slot. It looks to be a micro SIM. On the right hand side, shabam, we've got a volume up and down rocker. It looks to be kind of flushed uh, to the side though, so that might be difficult uh, to actually find with your thumb when you're using it. On the top of the phone, we've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. And living kind of oddly on the left-hand side of the device is the power and lock button. On the front, we've got ambient light sensors, a giant uh, speaker grill right there. There's your front-facing camera. Speaker in the front down below for boom sound uh, is kind of interesting. And if we look at the phone we power it on, uh, we've got two uh, physical capacitor buttons down here, not a third one. You've got a back button and a home button. Uh, we don't have a multitasking button, but if you want to access multitasking, you can go ahead and double tap that, and it'll show you what your most recent apps are. Keep going to fight the urge to tap that HTC logo. Uh, but it is not a button. The back is where that Ultra Pixel camera is going to live. Beats Audio branding because this does have support for Beats Audio. On the bottom, we've got ambient uh, noise canceling microphone and the charging and syncing port. Um, so let's go ahead and power this guy back on. We're going to do a full overview here of Sense 5. We can take a look at how different things look. Um, so what we've got here is Blink Feed. Uh, this is going to pull in all kinds of news from different sources. Uh, and Techno Buffalo actually should be here relatively soon. Uh, let's see what kind of apps we're going to have and 
you can show, uh, you can customize rather how many applications show on your screen. It looks like they're not showing all that many. Uh, there aren't that many to show here. It doesn't look to be any sort of bloatware at all. Uh, you can go ahead and check out custom and select all kinds of different options. We will go back. Uh, let's go ahead and find settings somewhere here and take a look at some of the stuff the phone has. So this is very familiar for Sense. If you've used Sense 4.x on the Droid DNA or other phones, it should be very familiar. Um, so let's see what we've got with software information. All right, so we are running Android 4.1.2 and Sense 5. You can see the software number uh, that's on here as well. Go ahead and hit home. Uh, so we're gonna do a full overview of everything here on this device. We're gonna cover the camera, we're gonna cover Bling Feed, we're gonna do comparisons of the device and all kinds of other goodness. Anything you guys wanna see about the HTC One, be sure to let us know. And only when I feel I know the phone well enough will we do our full review. Uh, let's bring in some other phones for some size comparisons. Uh, here is the iPhone 5. You can see the difference between that 4.7 and the 4-inch screen. Uh, if you ever held an iPhone 5, you know the way it feels with that aluminum back. It feels really solid. Uh, the HTC One really feels the same way. So you can see what those two look like when they are stacked next to each other. So there is the HTC One and the iPhone 5. Let's bring in a cousin. Here is the Droid DNA. See those two? This is a 5-inch 1080p screen versus the 4.7. Those guys, side by side, got the Verizon red banding. All that kind of business. And we do our overview of Sense 5. We'll also bring in Sense 4 on the DNA to show you what that looks like. Uh, here is the BlackBerry Z10. Side by side. Doing all of its stackiness next to each other. Let's bring in the Galaxy S3. So you can see what these two look like. Uh, very different uh, build materials here. We got the plastic on the S3 and the full metal on the HTC One. There are those two. And lastly, let's go ahead and bring in the Nexus 4. Here are these two. And the build quality on the Nexus 4 is really outstanding as well. You can see these two side by side. I really see the thinness and appreciate the thinness of the HTC One. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more from the HTC One. And again, anything you guys want to see further, let us know. We're going to do a full software and hardware overview uh, in upcoming videos. Just wanted to show you what you're going to get uh, in the box, or at least what came in our box. Uh, check out TechNoMBuffalo.com for latest and greatest tech news. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video.